Hi there, Chris here. I wanted to do one of the these unities again. Um, they're for a Chinese-made padlock. They're very good. Um, why do I say that? Well, they have nice cuts. They have they have keys that are, are more like higher security locks. They are disassemblable, mouthful, and they hide their feedback sometimes. So I thought I would try and pick this. I often do not say enough in my videos that, you know, you see me pick through some of these like fairly fast. Um, and the reason for that is because I've been working on them for two, two and a half years. <laughs> and here's, here's, here's some evidence. You see this pick? This is a sparrow's pick. It does have a homemade tip on it. But you see this? If yours does if yours does not look like this, then you probably have not messed with it enough. I know it's frustrating, but sometimes you just gotta mess with it a bunch. If yours looks like uh oh, slinky's on it. If yours looks like this, well, it's time to get to picking. This one is totally stock one. Other than this tip, I've thinned this tip down for like Avis Plus cores. So it's a little thinner than the standard um, Sparrow's tip. But that's an, for all intents and purposes, that's a, like a brand new pick guy. You should start looking like this after a while because you've <laughs> You've messed with it. All right, enough of that. So, yeah, I don't, I didn't come on it just, you know, I didn't pick up one of these things and just start picking. Another thing I like about these is you don't need any standoff. The standard back set on the Sparrow's nose or t pick tensioner part, it goes, it fits it perfectly. So, uh, we're going to start, let's start back here. So we know we're tensioning off of this last disc here. So let's tension. I got a click, so let's keep going. Next one. Didn't really feel the feedback. I put it back. Nothing, 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 nothing. All right, let's go to the last one. See if we make sure that's set at zero. If I can get, there you go. Okay, that's at zero. So what we want to do is try and get some tension on these discs. And sometimes it helps if you, there's some movement in here, you can move that around. And maybe that's going to put a little more pressure of the discs into that sidebar. Or not. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, that one was set, I believe. This should be zero. That was a nice click. I think we're okay. <clears throat> Whether it's zero or not, it's that's good. We're going to go with that. I'm going to turn this down. We are getting binding, which is fine, because then, then we can find out where that, that gate is. I mean, I think it took me two or three months just to not lose what disc I'm on. 
All right, that's a zero. This one should come down. All right, nice click. Now we're starting to cook. And this is this picks more like a, a higher security lock because it, it hides its feedback. Certainly hiding it now. I couldn't tell you what that one's doing unless it's stuck somewhere. We're gonna leave it. All right, that was a nice click. Turn this back. That's binding. That felt good. No. Sticky disc, there we go. So that took me a while. And let's see if we can gut this. Um, if I have the right correcto guy for this. The thing about these, you can get them for, at Amazon and they're about 36 bucks for two of them, um, which is, <clears throat> It's more expensive than a, you know, $20 lock, but you get more. All right, so that comes out. Then you can come in here like this and take this guy out. All right, so let's not spill guts. So that's a big guy, but like I said, that's this offset is perfect so I'll try and strip this down quickly okay first one first disc first spinner oh, spinner disc got some grease in it all right and if you're doing this for the first time uh, do it on camera or take a picture of it so that you don't get them out of order. I'm gonna move that guy up. And remember to get them back together the same way with the spacers in the same place. All right, disc, spacer. Spacer, disc. Spacer, and you can see the little side guy, the little bar, which all it is is in this one is just a bar. Like I said, these don't have no false gates. That was the last one. There's our little bar if we can get it out. It's just a bar. That's all it is. So there you go. There is the Unity. I will zoom in. But they're nice. It, they're nicely made now. If they had false gates, that would be even better. And you see how it's rounded on this end, kind of like it was punched this way? And flat, that edge is flat. They go in like this. Otherwise, it messes up the orientation. It messes up the unity of the lock. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, I guess I should just pull this out. So this all comes out. And then I think the balls come out. See the balls are rolling around in there. And to keep those in when you're assembling, you just put some either grease or Vaseline on them and your balls will be in good shape. So there you go. Thank you, Slinky. I don't think she walked through this time. All right, thanks for watching. Remember, the goal is not to open locks, but to beat up your pick. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.